Hey guys, Alexander here, back with the last video of the uniform distribution. In this video, I will be covering how we derive the moment generating function for the uniform distribution. And I will start that over with, firstly, as usual, the definition of the moment generating function. So the definition of the moment generating function is, is that phi x of t, if we let this denote the moment generating function for a random variable x that is distributed uniformly across the interval a to b. This moment generating function is defined as the expected value of e to the t x. And we know that the uniform distribution is a continuous distribution, so that means we're going to have to go do the inter integral, the integration from a to b of e to the t x over b minus a dx. So it's always the integral over your support of e to the tx f of x dx. This is your moment generating function. So we know that b minus a are constants, so we can bring them outside of the integral. Then we let the integral from a to b of e to the tx dx. And we know that this will evaluate to 1 over b minus a. And the integral becomes e to the tx divided by the derivative of, of this uh, exponent over here, which is t. And we solve this. We do this from the limits of a to b. So we know this becomes 1 over t times b minus a. And this one can become e to the bt minus e to the at. So, firstly, what we ended up deriving is phi x of t, which is the moment generating function of, of x, is e to the bt minus e to the at over t times b minus a. And now we need to ensure that it's for the for a t for which this fraction is valid. So clearly we can see that the constraint on t for this equation to hold is that t cannot be equal to zero. We can't have zero in our denominator. So we have to ensure that t does not equal to zero. So then this moment generating function holds. Well, what if t is equal to zero? What do we do then? Well, we need to find the limits. So what is the limit as t goes to zero of e to the bt minus e to the at over t times b minus a. So we can say if we plug in t equals 0, we see that we end up with 1 minus 1 over 0 times b minus a, so we end up with 0 over 0. And this suggests that we need to go apply L'Hopital's rule. So we apply L'Hopital's. So we go and take the, the first derivative of the numerator and the denominator with respect to t. So we end up with be to the bt minus a e to the a t, all of this divided by b minus a. And we want the limit as t goes to zero of this fraction. So this becomes b times 1 minus a times 1 all over b minus a. And we can see this is equal to 1. So that's great. So we have found out what the moment generating function is. So the moment generating function for a random variable x, which is uniformly distributed on the interval a, b, is given by e to the bt minus e to the at over t times b minus a for t not equal to 0. And it's equal to 1 if t equals 0. So that's how we go about deriving the moment generating function for the uniform distribution. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped further your understanding of statistics. Work Commander out.